Hey guys, Josh the RV Nerd here today with Mr. Schooley. Now, um, I'm gonna let him kind of speak for himself, but I really wanted people to get to hear Mr. Schooley's experience, not only because we were able to diagnose and fix his problems on his Winnebago RV, but specifically for the fact that Mr. Schooley actually didn't purchase his RV here. And one of the things that I hear from a lot of folks is if I didn't buy it there, they're not gonna work on it. So what, what kind of was your whole story, Mr. Schooley? Okay, uh, two weeks ago, my wife and I went down to Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, when we got down there, we had no interior lights. So the, all of the uh, 12 volt system was totally inoperative. Um, we got down there on a Friday night and lived with that condition from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And on Monday morning, I called up here to hail it and spoke to Rick in the service department and with the cell phone uh, a thousand miles away he helped me diagnose the problem and told me what fuses I needed to pull that I needed to look at I needed to replace and what I had to do under my frame to get power back. Uh, now he advised me that that was not going to totally correct the situation that it probably had other electrical issues that would needed to be addressed uh, we came back you know, a week later dropped the the trailer off uh, here at uh, Halo RV and they've had it for a week now uh, and Justin uh, in their service department diagnosed the battery issue the battery disconnect issue, the ground issue, and this afternoon when we came to pick it up, he even diagnosed the fact that we did not have uh, a charging line from my tow vehicle to the camper because we were blowing fuses both aft into the trailer and forward into the um, vehicle because we were trying to pump 55 amps through a 40 amp circuit and neither circuit liked that the taste of that uh, so I gotta tell you if you're out there uh, Halet has done wonders for us I've never had uh, I've been camping since I was eight years old in many different forms I've never had this kind of, a, of service and help in the past um, and I was just absolutely blown away by the fact that somebody could diagnose our problem a thousand miles away over the phone and get us at least partially operational to get us back home. And I am truly uh, thankful for the uh, service staff and all of the personnel here uh, that have helped us through what could have been a really nasty experience. Wow, that was very well said now does it say paid actor paid spokesman or anything down here in the screen i, I am not a paid actor i am not a paid <laughs> spokesman um you're just fact, just a dude i'm just a i'm just a, <laughs> a retired person from the state of michigan that happens to have a camper and saw josh out and says i don't know how to put up a good post for uh your website to type all of the good things i want to say so he said well, come on in and let's do it on the air, live and in, in person. So that's what I'm doing, and I am absolutely appreciative of everybody here at Halo at our fee. Oh, wow. So I, I feel like I should be paying you for this, even though it doesn't no, say paid spokesman. I feel like no, I should pay you for all that. I'll tell you one thing. My, my father-in-law uh, worked for more than 40 years for General Motors, and he had a saying, and I remember it to this day, that the salespeople sell the first vehicle, service sells all of the rest Absolutely. afterwards. Absolutely. And it's probably just as true today with uh, travel trailers. Uh, we've got a uh, 1706 uh, Micro Mini Winnebago. The mobile mansion. The, my mobile mansion. That's Schoolie's mobile mansion out there. I've got the sign on the back to prove it. Thank you, Josh. Hey, okay? you be safe, okay? They, you I will. Drive careful because a lot of my friends don't. I lost you. <laughs> now, I'll be safe, man. <laughs>